Hey guys, uh, in this video I want to show you how to create a connection in Make uh, for Gmail, which is not a paid account, right? So when you select Send or um, any, actually any uh, module in uh, Make, uh, right, uh, that's related to either Gmail or Google Drive, you will be uh, uh, when in the process of connection creation you will face this uh, Google restricted connection thing uh, with this manual and guide so I just want to uh, guide you through uh, this one in case if you uh, got some problem and uh, in the end of this video you will know how to uh, tweak it to make sure that connection will be refreshed all the time so it will work like permanently uh, so what you need to do, uh, first of all, is actually click this button, right? So this will be useful because we will use a couple of copy-paste things from it. And let's uh, jump into it. So this uh, Google uh, service policies uh, will just explain you uh, what you do and so on and so on. So what you need to start with was, will be, again, there is the video for it here uh, and some manuals. Uh, but that's where we start so sign in uh, it's a google cloud platform uh, link you can open this guy here right uh, or just type uh, google cloud uh, console right uh, even if you misspell it as, as i've done right so first that you see will probably will be this a google cloud platform console so this is your place uh, to build the stuff. As soon as you open your Google console, if you don't have any projects, I will try to find an account uh, which maybe uh, doesn't have anything yet. Uh, yeah, looks okay. So this is like a completely fresh account. So as you see here, you just start with a, uh, your country and everything uh, related. So you agree on terms and click uh, just go okay uh, so then uh, we need to create a project so as you see here I don't have any projects right so I need to create a new one and uh, name for your project could be whatever you like I probably will start uh, with a something like a Google services uh, for make or whatever whatever you like to do right and then you just hit create so this may take some time so you will uh, even might have some issues I, I got this prior so see creation in progress right so when you try to open it it might show you uh, like a uh, wrong page and so on so on so let's go back to our manual and just scroll it down right so again if you forgot where I took it it's here so this guy Okay, so you just scroll down, you literally have this step by step, right? Um, and we uh, will just need to follow it more or less uh, with a couple of additions actually. Okay, so let's uh, see. Yeah, so this is my old window, we don't need this anymore. Okay, so this is the one uh, where we have our new, uh, again, this pilot project uh, okay so you go in it and now you inside this project so what we need to do is to uh, open this menu and go to APIs so APIs and services uh, will help us to enable several APIs that we want to use and you actually in future could can update this uh, so it's like not the last chance to do it but I would recommend you to start at once with a Gmail API and Google Drive uh, just type Gmail and uh, open the Gmail one and click enable that's it so then you go back and type uh, Drive so Google Drive API this one right so this uh, what we need to have to access our Google Drives so because uh, the Google just limits access for like a non uh, a tr uh, non uh, approved applications which probably like five uh, of them <laughs> at all exist right uh, uh, for uh, access to like free accounts it's actually just a, like a Google type of limitation so you create your own thing to access your own account so this is the whole purpose of all this uh, actions so as soon as you activate it to uh, these two APIs if you go back in 
whatever in a minute maybe you will be able to see they are, they are activated again if I go to this enable uh, APIs and open my Gmail so this oh, still does not enable I don't know sometimes it just works silly and weird so usually it should be activated immediately and should look like this right and you can just disable it so I would then uh, go and double check uh, if I have my uh, drive activated so this uh, thing uh, more or less constantly changing so see here we have managed so it's already active okay so now we go to again this uh, part of menu API and services but what we need to do is go to uh, all accounts and screen so this uh, place where we need to um, go and create uh, in this case it will be uh, internal available only on paid accounts so we select external so we kind of pretend we're a developer that want to build uh, own um, like application to access uh, someone else account but technically we'll, the someone else will be just uh, our app uh, like our account only this is the the whole idea of this thing so app name again it's not related and uh, it's not important if you don't want to use it for production to access someone else Google account which is not my uh, point so you can type it uh, whenever you like and you will in this uh, drop down see only your Gmail nothing else so this um, email kind of support because uh, th this whole thing it's about like uh, how you present your application to other um, you know uh, users so when you like authorize your access to Google or something that's what you will see uh, so you can skip all of this which is not required right and um, just type two things here so first of all we will need integromat com this is old uh, name of make which still in use maybe a bit later uh, you won't need it but now it is uh, required so two of the things so integromat dot uh, com and make dot com so two domains that we need to have um, and developer contact information again uh, you can type whatever you like because we not uh, intended to publish this application like never so save continue uh, leads us to a scopes so scopes this is the thing that we want to request from our service where we connect so uh, you click on add and uh, what you can do literally select everything so select 100 so make sure everything available from 53 so these are scopes literally I want to access like read files write files I want to access mail I want to access this and that it's actually BigQuery something uh, also it's kind of more or less standard and uh, you just click update so this will add all scopes sensitive non-sensitive everything right so we want to be able to access anything inside our gmail and uh, google drive okay uh, important step uh, when you click next will be add test users so test users here will be your email because again we work on our stuff so you just click here copy your email and add test user literally yourself right to be able to test okay so let's see if I add it actually yeah yeah you see it here right so it's added and now I click save and continue so this uh, almost it right so this is the step for the scopes and uh, now we go to credentials will be the final step for our thing so inside the credentials what we need to do is to uh, create credentials uh, for uh, put them in make right so you select uh, your old client ID and inside in here you select web application so we almost done the last step that we need to add will be this so redirect URIs again you will be able to add more uh, these guys later and this is probably the only place where you can go to dock and uh, grab the um, uh, required stuff so see here 
depending on what exactly you want to use this uh, application for inside a make, these URLs could be different. But what I recommend you to do is go at once and uh, add everything. So see here, uh, make sure you don't copy this guy. So you copy uh, these uh, URLs one by one to your project because you can add as many as you want and see here why we uh, whitelisted integramod domain right okay so make sure you don't copy this one uh we need to fix this part of stuff so right now make sure you copy it. just cb slash and google okay so literally it's all the same this just and changes a bit so you can just go and paste this like uh, probably five times right okay just disregard this uh worrying about the the thing so we copy google custom application uh and uh, um this app actually for custom apps if you want to create a your custom app in make but i have all four so google slash restricted google google custom uh then app and then google cloud speech so this covers most of uh the modules inside the make in future so if you decide to use say google cloud speech or uh maybe google vision i believe it uh, will be also the same uh, will use uh, probably google so most of of them will use these five urls in, even including your custom application so if you will decide uh do this uh, like you know uh name of the credentials it's again it's just in the in the list to remember which credentials you want to use uh so i just put say demo for example okay so and that's it i click create with this one i will get two keys which uh you can actually close most uh, of the cases uh this will disappear forever in google you can reopen and see it but i won't do it right now i will just make sure uh i open this right so i will give a name of my connection so so you call it demo um maybe even demo remove or something it's just my thing uh and these two things only you need to copy so super simple we have buttons for it so client goes here and a secret client secret goes here as soon as you click save you will be redirected to a google to authorize in this case a connection for gmail right so see here you select definitely uh your account that you used uh for that thing okay and you will have this uh kind of annoying uh warning that is application is not verified it's definitely not verified because we just created we haven't submitted to google to approve something to do a same thing or so right so you click continue and this will lead you to the stuff where you literally do whatever make modules will ask you to do because in current case right i selected send email for example right so this will uh, literally ask about the read compose emails and so on so on so click continue that creates our uh, connection for make uh, and uh, same thing uh, will work already if i go to my uh, drive right i either will have this connection already available and uh, just will need to extend a permission so demo remove this one see that we just created so i can just hit continue and this will lead me to uh again uh, the permissions i will just click my uh, email same thing continue continue and we've done so that uh, creates a connection for my google module i can uh, if i select different say uh, move folder or like delete folder this might again require uh, extension but I, I won't deal with the credentials anymore right uh, so and again if you just close this it's a not big deal so you can always go to your project definitely first then credentials and then you can just 
see the stuff so you can uh, click on this add it this will open your secret and your client ID so you can always go back and copy this the one super important th thing that you have to do with your project is to make it uh, status as a published uh, so let's go back to constant screen so that's that's where we at right and this magic button will uh, help you to get rid of a headache um, with a connect uh, with a, your connection uh, refresh so if uh, it's a rule of the Google uh, you can read it about in documentation so if uh, a, the application in start uh, has status of testing right uh, but not publishing publish it uh, your uh, credentials will leave only seven days means after seven days you will need to go uh, to your connection tab for example uh, right and uh, let me just do not close it and you just need to refresh it so you just literally will get an error in your automation your scenario or so so you just will need to go here and uh, click uh, the button like uh, reauthorize like this every seven days but if you will do this this problem should disappear so and you click uh, confirm so see here uh, you don't need to go uh, anywhere else you just have the status in production and that makes your token refreshable and uh, you should um, get rid of this uh, problem so that's basically it so we spend some time of creating uh, the stuff but this you do it once right and uh, you just follow this video so literally a couple of things uh, to remember once again so you just go to your project you create one if you don't have any then you activate the api so they just click click nothing complex then uh, you go on your consent screen so this uh, will be like um, the most important part right where you will be putting these credentials you will need to trace to the mains integramat.com make.com uh, put uh, any email and so and just hit save so this will lead you through this stuff so you select all scopes right in in this window uh, uh, on the right then you click just again okay save and continue this will be a place you remember right to add your test user and uh, then you're done so the only thing you need to do after on a consent screen is to make your app in production just click button publish and click uh, agree in the credentials you create a new credentials you go to uh, OAuth client ID okay then you select your uh, web application and here only where will be a thing with this copy paste stuff so you need to go to uh, this doc uh, which you can again take on any of these connection uh, pages right so this guide and uh, scroll to the place where you have a ton of URLs in red and carefully copy these all stuff with the all CB so you see it ends with a Google restriction Google Google custom app uh, Google Cloud speech to like have this for like forever right so made it once and then use it so hope this helps and if you like this please push the button below uh, like this video uh, subscribe to my channel comment below say I liked uh, the video or so and um, I will reply you back uh, and if you have any ideas for further videos, please let me know.